Hello, my name is Sonya Madison and welcome to Law Unfiltered, where I talk about current events and some of the legal implications. The long-awaited health care reform bill is finally here and is currently being reviewed by the House of Representatives. So essentially it says, if you can afford health care insurance and you actually purchase health insurance, we will award you. If you can't afford it, then do not get it. So let's delve right into it. From the jump, the American Health Care Act repeals the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare. So for any of you that were thinking, well, maybe it will just amend some of the provisions instead of starting from scratch, it starts from scratch. This means that there are no fines if you don't have insurance, but it also means that employers as well as individuals are not required to have insurance, whether that is for yourself or for your employees. Now, when I say that it rewards you if you have health care insurance, it essentially provides tax credits based on your age and your income. So under this theory, what the provisions provide is that you can take a standard deduction for health care. And by standard deduction, that means whether you itemize or not, you can take a deduction for all the expenses that you may incur based on health care. Now this includes fitness programs. So if you have a monthly membership to a gym, include that as part of your medical expenses. Now, if you're under 30 and you're earning about $75,000, you can get a tax credit for up to $2,000. And it goes up in increments based on, again, your age and your income. So you can potentially also, if you're over 60, get a tax credit for $4,000 if you are earning $75,000. Now, again, keep in mind that it's going to be a less demand, and so insurance companies can set their own price. That means if you are over 60, then you're likely going to pay more for health insurance than if you're under 30, just based on the previous practice of what healthcare or insurance companies have incurred. Now, additionally, they kept the requirement that you can't discriminate based on pre-existing conditions, but again, insurance companies can set their own price. So if you have a pre-existing condition, expect to see your insurance price to be a lot higher than someone who doesn't have a pre-existing condition. And then finally, one of the things I want to talk about is for all you that was wondering, well, what if I can't afford health care insurance? I need health insurance. Is there a way that I can get something similar to what the Affordable Care Act, and that is essentially vouchers or some type of subsidy? Well, the short answer is it's not going to be what you had under the Affordable Care Act. What the provisions here provide is that they're going to, the federal government is going to give each state up to $5 million, and they're going to have those states use that money to essentially create a pool where the states can then divide up those that funding to people who want assistance in covering their health care insurance. So again, I mean, if you think about $5 million divided up into a large amount of people either seeking or needing health insurance that can afford it, that may or may not be as much of a subsidy or voucher that you were previously getting under the Affordable Care Act. But then again, it could be more. So it's, it's definitely going to be a case-by-case -case basis. So just based on some of those, kind of let me know what you think. The one thing I did forget to add is, be, and I don't know how, because Republicans make sure to include this, but they also make sure to express to provide that you cannot use an abortion or abortion-type expenses to include as part of your deduction for medical expenses. So you have to include that as part of your gross income and not as part of your single deduction. So let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to hear if this is something you like or if this is something that is going to make you really go out and vote and try to change what the current political environment is like. And thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you next time on Law Filtered.